Greetings, survivors and friends. Suddenly, quality of life. Well, I say suddenly. It probably won't be until February's patch that your life actually gets inqualitized, but you can at least prepare yourselves between now and then. Plus, stick with me till the end as I have a Rust server giveaway for you thanks to my good friends at Iceline Hosting. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and join the Ring-a-Ding-Ding Club because Auntie Susan told me that's the best chance you have of getting notifications, maybe, possibly, perhaps, depending on how she feels. Right, so, with lots of things being worked on in the pipeline but still a way off, the team have turned their attention to a number of quality of life issues, which, as I say, aren't scheduled to be live until February probably, but I'm going to give you the list so far, so listen very carefully. I will say this only once. First up, and as well as teammates in close range now updating their position on the map in real time, wounded teammates will show as orange in the team UI and a down arrow will appear next to their name. A map marker's being added for the patrol helicopter and a toggle's being added to be able to sort contacts by last seen. Sam sites are getting some new features, namely some new outputs like the auto turrets have, such as for no ammo, low ammo, and has target. Also, there will be a defender mode setting for them, which when active will make it so they only fire at rockety McRocket face rockets and not vehicles. Two extra inventory slots are being added to the tool cupboard that will only accept the hammer, building plan, and tool gun, and a pop-ups being worked on that will show what resources are missing when repairing an entity with the hammer. Soon you'll be able to left click and hold a blueprint on the tech tree to unlock it, and the UI will show both how much scraps required to unlock the item, including the cost of any locked items before it in the tree. Dismounting mobile objects such as cars, helis and subs will require a half second hold of the dismount key and this duration will be controllable with a convar global dot dismount hold time. This won't apply to static seats such as chairs and sofas by the way. A sound effect being worked on for when items of armour break. My guess is it'll sound something like this. Whoops! Storage from boats and subs will now float when they're destroyed. This doesn't apply to torpedoes, by the way, and this change appears to now be on staging. A couple of extra admin commands being added. There's ent who, which when used on a sleeping bag or camper module will print out the name and ID of the player assigned to it, and teleport to auth item, which will teleport the player to a random item auth to the given player, and works with tool cupboards, code locks, and auto turrets. In works in progress, lots of work still going on with the Happis revamp, snowmobile, brick buildings, and more improvements for AI. As you can see, there's a new snowman helmet item that's just been added to staging, no doubt in preparation for the usual seasonal stuff very soon. Looks like it has the same protection stats as a boonie hat though, and you can't eat the carrot, so it's nothing to have a meltdown about. Oh, and did you see they fixed the end tights typo on the water pump? Yes, that's nice. At least I know what I'm doing with it now. Oh, do you actually use that stuff? Uh, no, not really. But I was talking to this chap at the bandit camp yesterday, and he said he'd lost something and wanted me to retrive it. I didn't know what he was on about. Honestly, these people don't know what they want half the time. Okay, so my good friends at Iceline Hosting are giving away a month's worth of free Rust server hosting for three of you to win. Each one will be a high-performance server with a hundred slots for you to do as you please with. You could even just whitelist it and play on it yourself if you wanted. To enter, all you have to do is click on the link in the description or pinned comment and follow the instructions. All the best. Oh, and if you don't win, you can still get 60% off your first month's hosting with them by using code Shadowfrax. Please let me know what you think to all the quality of life changes coming down the pipe in the comments below. Sub to the channel for more and join me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Discord and my Steam group to stay up to date with my content. Links below. You can support me on Patreon like these amazing people through channel memberships or by grabbing some sexy subject to change merch in my store. I shall catch you all soon but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk. Whoops!